either that guy a ticket for texting while driving because the cops hang out just like out where the people come out of the tunnel and if they see you texting they just pull you over immediately which I think is a really good thing texting while driving stupid dangerous Pregnant, I assure you she's not pregnant, but she's been talking about it a lot lately. I mean like not so subtle hints like don't you think Francine needs a little brother or a little sister? She's been talking about it more and more and more. The cop usually chills right up here around the corner. See them chilling right there? And they're looking for people who are texting. If you live in New York City or anywhere in the world, don't text and drive. Hello, and welcome to my workshop. On today's agenda is a repair of this camera. It looks like a functioning camera, when in reality, broken LCD. All right, I don't really remember the specifics, but look. I'm sure I like drop. oh, I think I knocked this over and it, anyway, I need to repair this. I got a little more aggressive with this than I had planned. I probably broke it. <laughs> oh, no. It needs to be tweaked because I can't open it all the way, but not bad. A step in the right direction. I used to, wow, that is bright. Is this ring light just too distracting for me to use? Makes me look like a space alien. Okie dokie. No ring light. Just natural light. I'll tilt into it. I used to do on this channel like these really intense Q and A's where I dive deep into specific subjects. I stopped doing them because people kept saying they were boring in the comments and I'm really insecure about that, so, but that's not a good enough reason. So today I want to do a Q&A where I really dive into a subject that people ask me about a lot. I want to talk about YouTube. If you're not into this, just skip ahead till this exact time and that's when the Q&A will be over. Michael asks, how do you balance your public YouTube life with your personal life? It's actually not that hard. That's pretty easy. The hard part is balancing the workload that is being a YouTuber with my personal life. In order to like really leverage this platform, it is so much work. I never party, I never drink, I never socialize, I never wanna go out to dinner, I don't wanna hang out with friends, and that has an impact on my, on my personal life. I really only like to use cheap, lightweight tripods, and every time I try to use the fancy ones, I can never- Casey, when is constantly being recognized in public the most annoying? Don't take this the wrong way. I love being recognized all the time because I love meeting new people, with one exception, outside of my office. It's very hard because when I'm, when I'm at work, I'm like so busy, I have no free time, and I'm racing in and out of my office to get to meetings or meet, like, I'm just so overwhelmed in the few hours that I have here that it's frustrating when I meet people here because I, I don't have time. A lot of the times I have to run out and I like I don't even have time to say hello because I have to get home to like get the bait. That's what's frustrating. Besides that, like, no, I, I love meeting new people. I wouldn't do this if I didn't love meeting new people. I know money's a touchy subject, but how many views, subscribers before a channel or a creator can expect to make a living? I don't know that there's like a specific end, but I will tell you it's very, very hard. You have your YouTubers at the top that make a lot of money and do insane views, and then you have like, everybody else, like there's no YouTube middle class. I think that's something YouTube could work harder at. It's really hard to like pay for making videos and make a living off of YouTube. 
What do you think was the biggest failure of your YouTube career? Not doing daily content sooner. Everybody does daily now. There's a zillion daily vloggers. It's hard to stand out. If I had done what I'm doing now, like five, six years ago, I think it really would have like, a lot of questions say, where do you see YouTube in the next couple of years? I don't know. Everybody's going after video right now. Facebook's going after video, TV, Netflix, Amazon. You have all these new spaces to fill. And I think YouTube has been just dominating that space for a really long time. And when you look to the future, and when you look to the future, you see like all these other opportunities for creators. And I think that's a great thing for creators. And I actually think it's a good thing for YouTube too, because it's gonna make YouTube better. Competition makes everyone better. Um, do you like the fact that you get hate over nothing? The comment section of YouTube I see is just like Twitter. It is wonderful what it stands for and what it enables. It's terrible in execution in that it lets people hide behind anonymity to spew hate. It, it should be a forum for positive, meaningful conversation, and instead it enables the trolls of this world to have another uh, mouthpiece to spew their vitriol. How often does YouTube reach out to you? How much communication do you have with them? It's nearly every single day. The support that I get from YouTube is incredible. It's part of the reason why I love YouTube so much. Do you like the title YouTuber more than the title filmmaker? Yes, I do. I don't shoot on film, I shoot on video. I don't put my movies in movie theaters. I put them on YouTube. I am only a YouTuber, I'm not a filmmaker. And I love that distinction. That is a very important distinction for me. Um, okay, Candace just emailed me and said come visit her, so I'm gonna go see Candace right now. Last question, was reaching 100 subscribers difficult for you? Yes. Reaching 100 subscribers, reaching 100 subscribers was way harder than reaching 1,000. And then reaching 1,000 was way harder than reaching like 100,000, and reaching 100,000 was harder than a million. And without a doubt, one million was way harder to do than three million. Let me end this Q&A by bringing it, over, bringing it on in. It's exactly like making a living in life. Like when I was dirt poor, when I couldn't afford to feed my family and I worked two jobs in a restaurant scrubbing pots and pans, that was the hardest dollar I ever had to earn. When I had zero dollars and I needed to earn my first hundred, that was so much harder. There's a great book by Peter Thiel called Zero to One. Uh, I love the book, but I don't endorse his political preference. In that book, he addresses how hard it is to start with nothing and turn it into something. You start with zero and you get to one. That's the hardest thing you can do. All right, I gotta meet Candace. I just wanted to share this sign with you because I really like the language it uses. Respect. I was filming a time lapse and the firemen dropped their ear protection. I will return this. Hey, this fell off the truck. Thank you, appreciate it. You got it. Oh, now, no matter what happens today, I know I did something good. <laughs> Hi. What's happening in here? Do you want to help a proposal? I really like coming to pick Candace up at work. Are you ready? Oh, tomorrow I have to go to the orthodontist in the morning. Okay. But we'll drive to Jersey for that meeting. You take meetings in Jersey? For this one project, yeah. Can I hardly wait? <laughs> okay. You want what? Has that gotten old yet? No. No. Tesla, it's the safest car you can buy. I think you would love it. I think somebody crashed in it or something. Yeah, but you know how many people crash in regular cars that aren't Teslas? Why don't I just get you a Tesla? No. I'll just. How does somebody not want a Tesla? We're on an Apre work excursion to check out this new restaurant that opened on the water over there Some. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna last though. <sighs> Bailing on the restaurant, baby freaked out. But we tried. I was just recording a Q&A 
and there were like 10 people that were like, how come Marlon's never in the vlog anymore? How, how come I'm not on the vlog anymore, Casey? I don't know. So you're I see you all the time. I guess I just don't uh, put the camera on you. You're too busy, man. 